Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm always trying to think of what to say when I get on here and I don't want to like steal other people's um, catchphrases. <laughs> so um, I'm back. I've got another Timu haul and um, it's been a long day. I'm kind of haggard <laughs> looking. My, um, I don't have anything on my lips, but I've got some lipstick in this haul. So hopefully that'll help out. Um, I wanted to do an update. I'm getting super close to um, being at a thousand subscribers thanks to you. So thank you so much. And um, I don't know what will happen once I get to that point other than that I can monetize this channel and hopefully help support um, the Timu purchasing that I do. Um, I got a box in the mail today from Timu that I think had four complete orders in it and I'm just totally overwhelmed at the moment because I still had some orders that I haven't processed yet and I just kind of went insane for a little bit and dumped it all in one big pile <laughs> so I'm like if they're gonna send it to me all intermingled and stuff then I'm just gonna put it in a big pile so then I just grabbed some stuff and um figure out what the prices were and everything and, and I'm going to show you that. Um, I do have to watch my phone. I've, I'm expecting a message from my kids so um, if I look down at that I apologize. I know that's kind of rude but I might have to pause this at some point um, in case I need to deal with something. But other than that um, I think that's it um, for updates. So this is a Timu haul and if you're not familiar with Timu where have you been? That's all anybody's talking about. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I it's it's like an online marketplace like Amazon, only a lot cheaper. Um, but it does take longer to for things to arrive, so you got to plan ahead if you're buying gifts for people. Um, but so far, I've done a, a several. I don't know. This may be my around the 25th video I've done, and so far there's been very few things that I have not liked. Um, I am going to start. I've got some orders that are coming up on their um, 90 day. They're kind of at 75, 80 days and you can return things for up to 90 days. So I'm going to kind of go through those orders and see if there's anything that I feel like I need to return because it didn't meet expectations or, you know, that kind of thing. And if I do that, I'll let you guys know what I send back. Um, but also, if you look in the description, you'll see that I've got a link to the app and it's an affiliate link. So anybody that downloads the app with my link, um, I do get five dollars from that. Um, and then so thank you if you do that. <laughs> and then there's a promo code for you that you that will give you 50 percent off your first order, which heck I would love to have a coupon like that still they don't give them to us after we've been in there um, for a while I've never seen one for that high um, but um, so yes you get that and um, a coupon bundle worth a hundred dollars and then if you get in there and start playing Fishland and Farmland I've got my codes um, in the description as well in case you want to be friends and share fish food and water <laughs> and um, and then I've also got a link to the products that you're gonna see um, Timu's made it kind of hard to share that information um, and luckily I've heard other youtubers complain about this too so it's not just me um, it used to be where you could click the share button on your order and share the whole order um, but they but that doesn't always work anymore sometimes the code part of its missing so I have resorted to using um, Google um, Google Forms to put all my product lists and stuff in so that's down there if you're interested and if for some reason you're watching an old video of mine because I haven't gone back 
through and done all of them. I mean, it starts at a certain point when I started doing that. But if you ever are watching an old one and want a link to a product, just let me know. Um, I will confess that I am slow to respond to comments and it's not because I don't like you. <laughs> I'm just super busy with family life so and work life. So um, it's nothing personal and I will get to them as soon as I can. Um, so I thank you for your patience with that. Um, but otherwise, I've wasted five whole minutes already. Oh my goodness, and we haven't looked at anything. So let's get started. <laughs> all right. So I'm also not showing a bag that these came in because for one, I dumped them all out and into a big pile. And they're not using the orange bags anymore. And that's kind of sad. So there's nothing special about showing a white Timu bag. So, so no bags today. All right, so this first item is a solar lamp and this is obviously meant for outside um, I've been I have a brown thumb so I've been looking for ways that I can spruce up the yard without having anything to maintain so Timu has tons and tons of outdoor solar things um, so this one is a lantern style um, I guess that is what lights up at night. Um, and then on the top here is where it's gonna gather the solar during the day. And it's got this that you need to pull off before you put it out there. But um, there's an on off switch, which this one's nice. Some of the solar things that they have kind of have a, like a plastic rubbery cover over this and so it's hard to tell if you're turning it on or off so this one's really easy so you'd want to turn it on before um before you stick it out there and let's see if it came some of these solar things even come pre-charged um but this one is not um so anyway this goes on here like this and then it's got holes which I probably was supposed to put this this in here first. So let's, well, actually, let's see if I can. Yeah, I don't want to break it. So let me pull this back off. Sorry, my new setup stuff's up higher and I don't like it. And I was complaining about feeling like I was hearing a ringing in my ear on my last video. And it's the light. I, when I turned it on today, I was like, oh, there's that sound. Um, okay, so I've got that in there. Now let's see if I can actually close this. Oh, okay. Oh, Nope, it sticks, it sticks in too far for me to see it, or for me to... All right, let's try this again. I may not be able to get this put together on camera, which is nothing new for this channel. I feel like it won't go through, like it doesn't want to go through all the way. Maybe pull this up just a little bit. I'm not going to waste too much more time, but yeah, it won't go through all the way. So I need to, I need to figure out, I mean, I don't know if it's just as simple as that. Maybe it is, but they have, um, hang on a second. So they have, um, yard stands and I got one on a previous video to put, um, yard signs on. So they've got different kinds of stands. If you wanted to hang this on a stand, um, if I'd been paying attention, I would have gotten one that could hold one of these and a flag at the same time. But I really like this. And they showed this if you have stairs like in the back in your backyard, like going down from your deck, they showed like having one of these on each step. And in that case, you wouldn't need the hanger. Um, but yeah, I thought this was super cute. Um, and the price 
was $6.98 and it's been reduced. You can get it now for $6.78. So there's that. Next is a bag, a canvas bag. So sometimes I feel like I'm just a copycat with all the um, other YouTubers that I watch. <laughs> but it's, all, it's like Zachary Michael also um, has said, all of us YouTubers influence the other YouTubers and Dollar Tree ladies. <laughs> and he said, we're all the same. And I don't think we're all the same. But um, that being said, I did buy this because I saw this on another haul. Um, but it's just a canvas bag. It's got adjustable strap. And this came in different colors. So I got the army green because it seemed to be going through an army green phase. But it also came in black and dark gray. Um, it's got a zippered pouch. And inside it's got a slip pocket. Um, like that. And then it's got little handle, a, a little handle like this on each side. So what I intend to do with this, and I think I got inspired by this. Um, I want to say it was probably, Hey, everybody was talking about this, but if it was a different hauler, I apologize, but I'm going to start buying pins to put on this. Um, some people put pins on their hats and obviously some people put them on their shirts, but I thought this would be, you know, mood. <laughs> this would be a great place to start sticking some pins. So I think I've got a pin in this border, so we'll get to see that. But yeah, it's a, you know, it's not a very big bag, but it's, my laptop would probably fit in this actually. But, um, but yeah, so, and it's a good good quality bag and these letters are um, painted on so okay so that cost $7.99 and you can get it now for $7.26 and my nose is starting to get red again uh, so okay I need to pause for just a second so I can check on my kids so hang on I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. Not that you could tell I was gone. <laughs> All right, um, I've got some stuff in this uh, um, order that I'm saving till last because all my Halloween um, outfit or whatever you want to call it came in. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to save that for last. So next um, is more in the whole brown thumb <laughs> theme. Um, I've heard people say that the um, the flowers and stuff are good on Timu, so thought we'd give it a give it a try. I'm trying to make sure I don't cut the flowers. So this one, I I got this one because it came in. A pot so to speak um, and I'll probably need to work with this a little bit I was looking to see if I'd be able to take the insert out um, but you can move these things around and they're you know plastic but if they're still I still think this is pretty um, and this came in different um, arrangements I guess you'd say <laughs> so um, I got this one it's small so I got it to sit down here in my office to make me and then I thought maybe I'd get some kind of um, lilacs are my favorite flower so I thought maybe I'd get some even though these aren't lilacs but get some lilac scent that I can spray on them so it kind of helps me feel like they're real but they're sitting inside there's like a little thing that they're pushed into kind of like um, one of those insert things you'd get at Michael's um, and then 
There's nothing on the bottom of that. Just a plain white picket fancy kind of look. But it does, it definitely, since it came, you know, smashed in a bag, it needs some, needs some help. But yeah, I thought that was cute. Well, look cute sitting down here. And it was, I, it cost me $349. You can now get it for $338. So I did get any of these that you hear me say they're now for cheaper means I got a refund because I go in every day and apply for my, um, or request my price adjustments. So yeah, so there's that. All right, next. Um, I figured out what this was because on the tag it says mermaid. And I figured, I, I found something in my um, order list that said mermaid on it. Oh, I've had such bad dry mouth today. I had to go in and get an ultrasound because um, I had COVID back in 2021. Gosh, it's been two years now. And um, I had I had it like pretty bad. I was in the hospital for almost three weeks and in intensive care for most of that time. But um, afterwards, you know, if you've had it that bad, they make you go back in for a CT scan like six months after you are have been released from the hospital, I guess. So they can check your lungs and everything to make sure um, that you're recovering as you should be. Um, and when they did that, they found what they thought was calcium deposits in my gallbladder. And this is stuff you, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but I've got dry mouth. And so I had to go in for, and then when they find something like that, then you're like supposed to go in every so often to um, get an ultrasound to see if the gallstones are blocking anything. And mine aren't that I know of because from I've heard from people who have had gallbladder issues and, and you, you have a lot of pain with that. And I don't have anything like that. So it's hopefully it was just routine. But because I'm diabetic, they also want to, you know, we're going to look at my pancreas and my liver. Um, because when you're on medicines like Munjaro, it can affect your liver. So it's like all this stuff, right? Well, I, this one you had to be fasting for. And so I woke up this morning, I was like, I was so thirsty and I couldn't drink anything because I had this test and I don't know, it's probably a brain thing, but I've been like thirsty ever since. So now that we've talked all about my medical issues, let's get back to Timu. So this, um, it's got a pretty mermaid um, scaling on it. And this is kind of an iridescent um, look. And on the inside, it's got a mirror. And then this is magnetic. So um, if you get, this was like super popular with Ipsy because when, um, when whenever I would get like, ipsy boxes sometimes you'd get like an individual eye shadow or a cheek thing or blush i mean and it's, it's like you it didn't come in any packaging it was literally just in the pan and so they make these things so you can stick those hey <laughs> let me pause for a thumbnail <laughs> um but they make these things so you can stick those in here and still use them and not have to um, oh yeah, and there's my price list. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't have anything, you know, that I shouldn't be showing. All right. So, um, I've somewhere I have, I did, <laughs> so I, I accidentally ordered one of those individual, um, eyeshadows, I think. And I really, I think I just literally accidentally clicked it because I it was not something I wanted. So it's not come yet. But then I was like, I should just go ahead and get one of these anyway, because I have some other ones left over from my Ipsy days that I can put this, put them in. So this was um, $6.16 and the price has gone up to $6.48. And I, it, you know, there's no way to know how many this will hold because all those things are different sizes. So it just depends on, um, what you have in your collection. Um, okay, hang on. I got another kid thing. I'm sorry. This has got to be so annoying. <laughs> All right. So next, let's see. Oh, good. So this is some lipstick, which I need because I'm, my lips, I don't know. 
some people have such pretty natural colored lips and I don't know if it's because um, of just my natural skin tone is very red and and whatnot but my lips I feel like they're like a grayish plum kind of color so this is lipstick and it's interesting because there was no plastic wrap on this I simply opened it here and there's no plastic wrap on the lipstick either so that's a little bit concerning to me that there's there was nothing really protecting this from being um, altered but that being said it's a cute little box and um, trying to tell if what the color of this is because a lot of these things the color is like one um, how to use start with a lip line and then slowly fill in the solid color <laughs> all right so I don't see if the color name is on here I can't read it um, okay so um, oh Duh. So that's what color it is. Um, I think there's two like um, diamonds kind of on the sides. I'm guessing that's how I separate this, but it's got like a, a leathery, like leather um, glued to the, to the outside. So it's a cute case. Oh, okay. So Ooh, this is super. So I went through a phase where I decided I needed to buy a bunch of lipstick. And I think I got a lot of them in the similar. This is not going to work out well, right? I don't even have a mirror down here. Hmm. So that is, oh, it's not, it's not as bold as I thought it would be. So yeah, that's not bad. I tend to like, I don't know if it's because I'm trying to get my lips to stand out from the rest of the redness on my face when I don't have foundation on, but that's not bad. I kind of like that. It's probably going to get all over my teeth now. How do you ladies keep lipstick from getting on your teeth? I know when I was a kid, there was this like phase where people would put um, like Vaseline or A&D ointment on their teeth so I guess their lips would just slide off I don't know that never worked for me but my eye teeth kind of stick out and then I'm telling you all my medical issues today you guys are a friendly bunch <laughs> that, that I feel so comfortable talking to you about this stuff but yeah so I'm kind of satisfied with this I like this color um I would like it better if I was wearing foundation and didn't have this color of red all over the rest of my face, but I do like that. So, so this one gets so far, um, we'll see how well it wears, but this gets, um, two stars <laughs> or two thumbs up, whatever you want to say. So, and then this cost $319 or I paid $319 and it is now gone up to $398. It's one thing I've noticed about prices, makeup, like when I was making up this price sheet, makeup seems to stay the same or go up a little bit, but most other things go down. And so you get those price adjustments. So I'm going to leave that up here so I don't lose it. Next is a bag. So this is part of my travel collection that I'm building for my kids. Hey, everybody raves about these bags, but she likes the ones um, that have the mesh on the bottom, and I like the ones that don't. So um, I already have some of these for myself, but I decided um, that most of the travel things that I'm buying for the kids for their travel kit, I found that they do all fit in these bags. So um, I've ordered... Um, these come in five 
different colors, I think. Um, pink, blue, purple, yellow, and green. Um, and so I've ordered it so that each kid will have their own color. Even though all the girls get pink stuff and all the boys get blue stuff, I want them each to have their own colored bag to put those in so that they know whose is whose. So this is the green one. And I don't know that I had this one planned for a kid. So I may, and even if I did, I can order another one. So I may steal this one for um, the makeup, at least temporarily, for me to put the makeup in um, so that I don't lose it. But yeah, but these are a nice um, umbrella kind of material. And they've got nice zippers. Now I did, oh, well, that's kind of a chartreuse kind of green. I did get one of these, I will confess. I got a purple one of these that looked like there were remnants of bug in it. And I couldn't, it was kind of sticky and I could not get it out. So I threw that bag away and got a refund. But that's the only one I've ever had that happen with. Um, so yeah, so this was... $1.27 and it's now on sale for $1.07. All right. Oh, all right. So here's some more makeup. Now I feel like, I don't know if I'm just misremembering, but I feel like this was a brand that um, used to be in my Ipsy boxes, but maybe this is a knockoff and the name's similar. I don't know. But this is an eyeshadow palette. And I'm trying to see if it's got um, like a color. Oh, well, it's number three. So there were different variants of this. Let's see if I can get this open. I don't really want to destroy the box just yet, but I may have to. Still have that one, that one fake Timu nail hanging on there. It is stuck. I wish I could figure out how to get all the other ones to stick like that. Oh, this is cute. So it's a little piece of toast. And on the back, oh, it's called Dreamy Purple Fog. But yeah, that's super cute. And it's got a nice kind of matte feel to it. Um, so it comes with a mirror and then some pretty neutral, um, shades. And since I know people like to see swatches of this kind of thing, um, so of all of these, the ones that I, I don't know, I'm kind of, I, glitter is not a good look when you've got, um, skin issues. So I probably, if I use that, I've really got to make sure I've got my foundation and stuff on, but I really like this color. So that's pretty good pigmentation and it seems to blend not too bad. And then let's try a different, let's try this I don't know if we'll be able to see this on my hand or not, but let's try that. You can a little bit see it. It's kind of the color I wish my skin were. So yeah, so nine colors. Um, it looks like it's got a film over the mirror. Yeah, it's kind of um, blurry or whatever, so I'll take that off later. But yeah, that's cute. But it doesn't come, a lot of these, I guess, don't come with brushes, so you got to use your own brushes. But I really like this case. This is nice. Um, this, um, all right, my apologies. Sometimes during the day, things get weird. And just like last night, tonight it feels like one of my kids is messing with me with their um, wireless mouse. Cause you know, sometimes those signals get crossed. And I used to have this problem at work where a couple of us had the same 10 key 
um, USB 10 key and we would, you'd be using it and it would update somebody else's spreadsheet, which is really not good, especially in accounting. That was, I spent um, a lot of years in accounting and um, yeah, you don't want to mess with people's spreadsheets. So anyway, I'm still having disk issues with this. Um, even though I'm saving this to um, a different drive, you don't care. The price of this, I was telling you, is $547, but this one is sold out at the moment, but there are other sellers that still have it. So it's only sold out from the seller I got it from. All right, let's put this in my green makeup, temporary makeup bag. All right, what's next? Oh, so this one's interesting. So, um, it's probably been 20 years ago now, but um, a church I used to go to um, back when I lived, before I lived here. So, I, I'm living in the town that I grew up in, and then I went away to college and lived in that town for about 16 years and then came back home. Um, and so while I was living there, I was going to a church and they had this service for people that were hard of hearing and it wasn't deaf people, but it was mostly older adults that, um, just naturally, um, have harder time hearing. And they had these like ear, uh, earbuds, not, they weren't buds, they were wired and a machine so that they, people could, you know, take those and they could hear the singing and the sermon and stuff, um, more easily because um, there were, you know, it's hard for people to hear unless they're like right up front sometimes. And now it looks like I've got bruises. <laughs> but um, I always thought that was a great idea. And I'm getting to the point now where sometimes we, I feel like we have to crank up the TV for me to be able to hear it right. Um, I sleep with white noise um, because my husband snores and that helps kind of make the sounds more even for me. And I think that that has, you know, messed with my hearing a little bit. But, so I got this, and this was sort of marketed as spyware, kind of. Like, you could use this to listen in on, listen through walls and stuff. But I just want to use it to listen to the TV. Um, oops. <laughs> listen to the TV a little bit more easily. So... It comes with the, um, I still got to get my lighting fixed, don't I? It comes with the, why am I having such a hard time? I always want to call these earbuds. Whatever, I'm going to call them earbuds. <laughs> so, um, for some reason I keep thinking earbuds are wireless, but it's probably both. So, whatever, you know what it is. So, it comes with that, and it's got um, this kind of a plug on it. And then comes with a USB charging cable. And then this is the part of it that is supposed to enhance the sound. Did this come with instructions? No instructions. There, maybe there's instructions online, I don't know. Maybe they figure it's self-explanatory. So, it's got the spot to charge it over here and the place to plug it in. I don't know that this is some, something I can test with myself, right? So, but you plug it in and then this is the on off dial. So you turn it on and you can see it's partially, partially charged and you would start it off on a low setting so you don't blow out your eardrums but then it's pulling in the sound through this what does that say oh america america well and so um so yeah so i'm interested to try this i'm going to try this next time we watch tv upstairs and see if it helps because um my dad could really probably use something like this too. He's got a little bit of tinnitus, he said. So, and I have some similar, like, and maybe even this would be good in the car. Um, if you're not the one driving, 
Like, I always want the radio up louder than the rest of my family. So maybe I could use this in the car too. So this, where is this? Um, sound amplifier. I paid $835, got a price adjustment. It's currently down to $789. So I'll let you know how this works. And I guess I want to turn it off so I don't waste what little charge it's got. All right. We're getting close to being just down to the Halloween get up. All right. Next is another makeup product. No, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Hang on. Okay, I did sneeze, and I don't have delicate sneezes, so you didn't wouldn't have wanted to hear that. All right, so um, this is one of those three color corrector cream things. Um, found my little uh, box cutter, so let's open this up. So wrapped in plastic, that's good because we don't want people being able to get to our makeup. Okay. Oh, my nose, look at that. It's getting redder because I sneezed. All right. So this is Repair 50 three-tone isolation cream concealer replenishment isolation clear and moisturizing covers blemishes obedient and thin <laughs> seems weird you use it to repair conceal clean moisturize hydrate isolate and makeup so we'll get to this in just a sec Okay, so this video is a hot mess. I'm just going to say it, but that's okay. We move on. We persevere. So we've got this, and you can see it's just all in there together. Um, trying to see if there's a plastic wrap around this part too, but there's not. All right, so a little pump. So let's try it on this hand. So it comes out, you can see the pink and the green. Um, we didn't get any purple on that one. So I when I, was a, when I was a kid growing up, my mom was a QVC fanatic. And I remember watching, this was actually, I probably, it wasn't when I was a kid. This was probably more when I was in college. But there was this makeup and it was like, oh, depending on what's wrong with your face, you need different colors. And I know that's still a pervading theme. Um, you know, green obviously neutralizes red, purple neutralizes yellow. Um, I'm not sure what pink's supposed to do because, well, I guess maybe pink is neutralizing the dark under eye circles because those are kind of blue. But, but yeah, so this comes up. It seems weird to me that it would all be mixed together. Like, how does that help? I should be putting this on one of my spots on my face, shouldn't I? It's nice. It's kind of, um, I can't see it very well because it's kind of blended into my, my hand skin. But yeah, it's really, it's really at this point just a little bit shiny. Um, it's all blended in so let's okay <sighs> let's try it on a little spot on my face I don't have anything on my face um, no foundation that is okay so in this little squirt I got a little bit more pink and a little green I don't know. Can you tell a difference? Let me try a little bit more over here. I don't know. I don't know if I can tell enough of a difference. 
that would make me say, yeah, that's worth using. I mean, it, it didn't conceal anything. Um, I don't feel like it even concealed it at all, really. So I'm not going to do over here because I think, oh no, it's a different haul that I've got. Okay, well, hang on. I don't know. I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that's doing enough. I don't know. This so far this seems like a miss. I'll have to give this a try. You know, at while I'm doing my full um I mean it feels nice, but I don't feel like it's doing anything. So so this is a this is an if iffy item. I'll have to see. But in the meantime, I'll put it in here. This um was three fifty nine, and it's still three fifty nine. All right. All right. One more thing before we get to the big Halloween outfit reveal, and that's a pin for the mood bag. Let's just cut this open. And cut the bag that it's in on the inside because it's plastic wrapped in plastic. So I'm cutting that. All right. Sorry. When my kids are outside playing after school, um, our ring goes off a lot. All right. So I'm an introvert, right? Um, so a lot of my pins are going to be kind of like that. But sorry I'm late. I didn't want to come. <laughs> so, so I thought that was hilarious. So this has the honor of being the first pin on my mood bag. So it doesn't really matter where I put it. But it's got, you know, a typical pin spot. It's only a pin spot, pin cover. It's kind of, this one feels like it's like, rubber or silicone so it doesn't have the metal parts to push in to pull it off all right so it's just got the pin there or the stick so let's just stick it through here doesn't matter right put the back back on and there we go my first pin on my mood bag so I've got some cool, well, cool, as cool as pins can get. I've got some cool ones coming. Yeah, so I love that. So that pin was $1.98, and the seller that I bought it from, it sold out from them, but I did see that there are other sellers that still have this if you want it. All right, you guys ready for my Halloween outfit reveal? Now, I have never, well, as an adult... I don't even think I've dressed up for Halloween after I had kids and would we would take them to like trunk or treats or school things. I can't I don't remember the last time I would have dressed up for Halloween. So I decided to go all out with Timu apparel and whatnot for Halloween. So let's get started. So first the shirt. All right, your typical Timu shirt. So it's kind of shiny and slippery, cool. Um, it's a little bit thin, but you can see it's got a pumpkin. And the picture made this pumpkin look a little bit oranger, but this is, this is like a peach almost. But it's got the pumpkin on the front, and then it's kind of raglan style. And so then we've got the orange bats on the sleeves. So I would have liked it if the pumpkin would have been the same color as the bats, but that's okay. I got this in a 2X, which is size 16 in America. 
and the back is plain except for the sleeves. So this is my shirt and then this um, was $9.98 and it's gone down in price to $9.69. I did notice when I was writing up the prices for these a lot of the Halloween stuff is starting to sell out so um, if you're wanting to get Halloween things you might start thinking about that. So anyway there's the shirt and then I have the headband. So I was trying to find a headband. I couldn't find one that, you know, matched exactly so I could be matchy matchy. But this one's got, you know, it's the basic orange and black. And it had pumpkins. So I just thought this would be a good, a good, this would go with it well, right? All right, so that's the headband, and the headband was $1.34 and is still $1.34. Then I got some earrings. Get my earring thing. So they have a ton of different kinds of earrings, but I was trying to go with the pumpkin theme. Um, but they had some really cute, um, ooh, okay, so these are broken. Just had a little, um, bead come out all by itself. It may not matter for the look of it, but now they're not the same. So let me put the non-broken one. So I'll probably, I'll probably just break off the same part on this one so that it's the same. But it's just a cute pumpkin with some dangly bits. And it's a little bit redder of a of an orange but like I said I was looking for basic pumpkin kind of designs but they have black cats black cats holding pumpkins you know anything you could want they've pretty much got so those earrings were a dollar 34 they are sold out with the seller that I bought them from but I believe they're available with other sellers so then I got a bracelet Now I feel like, um, actually, are these all connected or are they four separate bracelets? Let's see. Oh, four separate bracelets. I did not get that impression from the picture. I thought it was going to be one of those that was like connected at the end, but these, and these are all, um, elastic. So let's just put these on, make sure they aren't, they don't break, but they had, um, again, they have a ton of different jewelry for all holidays, really. This one's got a cute pumpkin with ghosts coming out. This one, this bottom one has skulls all around it. And then this one just has a single pumpkin in the center. So then this one's got the ghost pumpkin. And then this one, it's got the ghost, oh, is it ghosts and bats? No, oh, it's a pumpkin bat. So yeah, so those are cute. The elastic seems to be strong. So that'll be cool to wear. And that cost $1.79 and it's come down to $1.59. Then I decided, so they have all kinds of leggings for Halloween, but I decided I would go with plain black leggings and add orange leg warmers. How cool is that? <laughs> so, <laughs> super bright orange, which I love. I've gotten leg warmers on this channel before, only I got like um, rainbow ones. 
So I looked and sure enough, they had orange. So I'm wearing my black leggings with my orange leg warmers. I love it. And these are, these are, you know, sweat, sweater kind of material and um, super soft, stretchy. So those of us that have wide calves, we should still be okay. So yeah, so that will decorate my legs. And then on my feet. <laughs> so this is in that style of tennis shoe that I really like. It's they're super soft. They don't take up hardly any room when you're not wearing them. So I got these in size eight, but they've got, I like this style because for one, the sole is super squishy. It's like memory foam. So it's really comfortable. And I like that I don't have to worry about tying my laces, but it still looks like I've got laces, but it's really got um, elastic in here that keeps it on. And they've got a really good sole a built-in arch so if you have flat feet maybe that might be a problem um, and then I get these my tennis shoes in size 8 which is 39 but yeah I love these and I realize you know well you can wear these around the house anytime and some people would wear these all year long you know they're wearing orange and black I might do that too it seems silly to buy a pair of shoes just for like one occasion, but we don't care on this channel. <laughs> so these were 1847, which is kind of high. Most of the shoes like this are not that high. So I have to assume it's because they are special, um, but they've come down five cents. So they're now 1842, but yeah, I love these. I mean, aren't they gonna look cool? I gotta figure out how to get a good thumbnail <laughs> All right, so last but certainly not least, because you need one more accessory for your Halloween or your Halloween. Well, that's not true. I have not gotten a ring yet, and I've got a ring coming. But you need a purse strap. <laughs> so we love purse straps on this channel. We have more purse straps than we need, but. I'm gonna put this with my buttery black bag. And this is perfect, I love it. So this was 331, it's now 338. The leg warmers were 297, but they've come down to 197. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I forgot to tell you price-wise, but I think I got the rest. So yeah, so I'm gonna be all decked out. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> Go online and get your Halloween stuff before it's gone. But yeah, so that was fun. I was so I was super glad when I saw that come in today. But um, that's all I've got for you for this haul. Um, like I said, I'm freaking out about all the stuff that's sitting up there that I haven't hauled yet. So I'm gonna be doing another um, one probably right after this. Um, and I could have put it together, but I still am sometimes having problems, um, putting, I can't record one that's that long. My system just won't let me. Um, and sometimes when I'm splicing them together, it doesn't work very well. So I'm stopping here and then I'll do another one. Um, we'll see if I leave this on or not. I don't know. It's kind of nice. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching. Thank you. If you've subscribed to my channel, thank you. We're getting closer to that thousand. And actually, maybe by the time this airs, maybe I will have hit it. So let's think positive thoughts, right? And if you um, liked this video, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to check out the description box below for all the important details. And I will see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.